Only one creature has carved a life for itself in every habitat on Earth. That creature is us. All over the world, we still use our ingenuity to survive in the wild places, far from the city lights, face to face with raw nature. This is the human planet. Living alongside these people is the Squamster, and it has infiltrated on their lifestyle to such an extent that it is even living in their houses. This is the Squamster. And we've domesticized it so well that it's been able to fit in with human habitats for the last 50 years. Although it's incompetent, it doesn't get it very far in life. The Squamster has many problems, one of them being that it cannot use tools. This is a severe problem when trying to do one of the simplest of tasks. Another problem for the Squamster is that it has no insulating layers. This becomes a very big problem when out in extreme temperatures. The Squamster is so incompetent that it has to rely on the pity from other species. In order to survive, the Squamster needs to eat anything that he comes across. No, drop it, drop, drop. Uh, drop. Drop. Leave. 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 Drop. No, leave. Leave. Drop. Put it down. Right. Leave. Leave to the final warning. Here we have made one of the simplest of problems. We're going to show you the word now on the screen with a red line. Let's see how long it takes for the Squamster to figure this out. Here is yet another simple problem. The nut inside is what it wants. This problem is sorted out by its short temper, and the Squamster lives to see another day. Pretty birdie. Oh my god, god. Unfortunately, the squamster we were studying has died. Squamsters all over the world tend to have this suicidal trait. And if not looked after properly by us humans, they will all die out. <laughs>